Hello online crew, how are you going today? I hope you're having the fabulous day or a fabulous day, should I say, in whatever part of the world it is for you. It's awesome to be here as always talking to you and sharing with you my one video per week where I talk about something to do with personal growth or personal development, something to keep you on your toes, something to keep your mind ticking over. And today that topic is what's one of the biggest mistakes you can ever make. Now, this is not my theory, not my thoughts. I have learnt this from a, I guess you call them a mind expert. I'll share with you who that is in the moment and the dangers of this particular thing that I'm going to talk about, this biggest mistake that you don't want to do, what are the dangers if you do do it, okay? So that's what we're going to talk about today. So if we've not met before, my name is Helen Martin. I'm your online crew captain. I am here to serve our most awesome online crew community here. We have the most awesome community here of home-based business owners, entrepreneurs, network marketers, those in MLM, small business, whatever, but we are learning to leverage social media with modern strategies to build your business online. We don't want to hassle anybody to buy anything off us. We don't want to wrestle somebody to the ground to go into business with us. We truly want to attract people to us with attraction marketing strategies in this modern online world that we have. So that's what we do here. I talk about, at the beginning of the week, I talk about something to do with personal development, personal growth, something to get your mind ticking and helping you to be a better version of yourself tomorrow than you are today. Absolutely critical. It's one of my favorite videos of the week because I truly, truly believe that unless you've got it going on up here, the no skills that I teach you for the rest of the week. I go live five times a week. If you're not aware of that, put your um put your notifications on so you don't miss any of my free training. Um, so I go live five days a week, but this one is one of my favorite videos of the week because it's this kind of stuff that really makes a difference. Now, if you haven't picked it already, guess what? I can't see comments again today. <laughs> no, no comments, Facebook. What are you doing to me? So if you are live here with me, still say hello if you haven't already. I'll do a quick little check in on my backup phone. Give me some loves there, see if I can pick some heads. I don't know why Facebook, it actually did it to me. I think the tail end, the four last videos, four out of five videos. We got Jen on, I can see your head, Jen. Um, um, the last four of the five last week, I think I didn't have comments and I don't have them again today. What are you doing to me, Facebook? Some loves there, so you Oops, we'll turn the volume down. Oh, we've got Sean. <laughs> Who else's head can I pick? Isn't it silly that I need to... Oh, Christina's on, that I need to do pick the head game. But let's have a quick look. Let's say hello to some people. We do have Christina, Olive, Sean, Reg, Jen. Who else have we got here? Karen and Nia. Awesome. Now it's just catching up with comments. So I'm sorry I'm not saying hello or interacting with you directly. I can't see any comments today again. It's just this love-hate relationship that Facebook has with my page for some reason, but it's all good. I'll keep talking and I'll catch up with your comments um, after. So what's the biggest mistake you can ever make? Now where this comes from is somebody that I read information from. If you know anything about me, I'm a research girl. I research a lot of stuff about social media and what's going on and try to keep you guys up to date. But I also do look at a lot of personal development stuff because we're always growing, are we not, guys? Like, we don't know it all. If anybody says to me, I've got all the answers and I know everything in life, then that's one big fat lie. There's always something we can learn and grow and be a better version of ourselves. So this comes from Bob Proctor. If you don't know who Bob Proctor is, he uh, made it his mission many, many moons ago to study relentlessly Napoleon Hill's book called uh, Think and Grow Rich. Do any of you guys know that book or have read that 
book, amazing book. You should have that in your bookshelf or on your Audible on your phone if you've not read that book before. It's just a different way of thinking and it's it's very insightful from somebody who wrote that book a long time ago, Napoleon Hill. So Bob Proctor made it his mission to sort of execute everything he learned in that and he's now known as an expert on the human mind. So he has a lot to say about how we think and how we move through life and how we can be better versions of ourselves and all that, all that kind of, you know, jazz. And this is what he said. He basically said the biggest mistake that we can make in our life is to settle for being satisfied and being complacent. And I'll tell you the dangers of that. So even though I've just told you that, stay with me. Because I want you to understand the dangers of being satisfied and complacent. And I know there's going to be resistance around this because some people will say, well, I am satisfied with my life. I am complacent with everything that I do. And that's why I want you to stick with me and listen to the dangers of what Bob Proctor is saying about being satisfied and being complacent and how it actually holds you back in life. It's just really important to sort of think about these kind of things and comprehend um, you know, what the dangers of these kind of things are because the last thing you want to do is go backwards in life. Now, when you're actually satisfied and complacent and you're just, you know, you're waiting for life to happen rather than making, then you, you just, you're going to go backwards moving forward and we don't want that for you. Okay. So you would know that, you know, when you stop learning, I put a post up this only yesterday, the day before, when you stop learning, your brain actually starts dying. Oh, am I back? Oh, I can't see comments <laughs> to let me know I'm back. So hopefully I'm back. It just said that um, I had a, a network connection problem there. So I hope I'm back. I can't tell. Oh, actually, if somebody can just give me likes and loves, that'll tell me that I'm back um, because I can pick your heads in the likes and the loves. Um, so you would know that when you stop learning, like when you, if you're just not learning new things, thank you, Sean. <laughs> I appreciate that. When we're not taking in new information or when we're not open to new things, your brain is really sort of dying. So when people say to you, I know that, I know that, I know all of that, you know, and they're very adamant about something that they know, then they're really closed minded, aren't they? Do you, have you ever come across people like that, that they're just the know it all? You can't tell them anything. You can't share anything with them without them going, I already know that. If somebody says that, it, to me, it's a massive sign of ignorance because there is no possible way on this human earth that we know everything about everything, is there? Um, like just, just impossible. So I just got some notes down here, but what this is a quote from Bob saying, when we drift through life, just waiting to see what happens, rather than forging ahead and making our own path, it's very damaging for your life. Okay, so just think about that at the moment. There's a lot of people that would just coast by and whatever happens, happens. And it can be a good place to be for some people. Whatever happens, happens. Like, And I'm not saying that somebody with that happy-go-lucky sort of attitude, oh, whatever happens, happens, means that, you know, you, you stop learning. So you just got to put this into context. I know that's sounding a little bit confusing. But we don't want life to just happen. We want you to make life work for you rather than life just happening to you. Does that make sense to you guys? And we don't think about this enough. Because I speak to uh, people and students all the time that tell me they can't do certain things because this got in the way. I ran out of time. You don't understand my life. I've got this going on. I've got that going on. Life is happening to them. And I'm not saying that's not valid for any of you, even myself. There's stuff that happens in our life that sort of seems to be happening to us. But at the end of the day, if we're not planning to get what we want out of life, you'll never get it because life actually happens around us whether we like it or not. There's always going to be something that gets in your way. There's always going to be someone that gets in your way. There's always going to be social media that gets in your way. If you prioritize checking your email rather than exercising in the morning, Helen, 
Helen, I'm talking to me here. Yeah. <laughs> like it's all to do with priorities, isn't it? And sometimes we put other people before ourselves. So it's all that kind of stuff. But what I want to highlight to you guys is the dangers of this. So you might think, oh yeah, that makes sense. But here's the dangers of being, you know, just sort of satisfied and complacent and just letting life happen. Peace out. Happen. What is it? Peace? Is that peace? <laughs> So these are the dangers. You're no longer striving to do your best. When you end up being like fully satisfied and complacent, you're no longer striving to do your best. Now, people's um, um, level of complacency and satisfied will be different. And some people will be striving for a successful career and striving for big incomes and striving to make an impact on the world and striving to influence and help others in another way. Like some people are going to have a lot bigger visions than others and some people don't need enough, don't need much, if that makes sense. So your, your vision for yourself and what you want to get out of your life is going to be different to the next person, okay? So you might be satisfied with not a lot. And that's, so, that's okay. You don't need to have to have a lot. I hope that makes sense. You don't need to have to have a lot. So some people are going to be, you know, more satisfied with less than other people that are really career driven, driven for, about money and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be at different levels. What the important thing is to realize, no matter where you're at, when you come complacent with things and it's okay, you actually stop striving to do your best at whatever level that is for you. And nobody wants that. You don't want to stop striving to be your best. And when we come complacent, we become lazy. And when we become lazy, we're not striving to be the best version of ourselves that we can possibly be. So that's one downfall. The next downfall is you're no longer staying up to date. So in our world, like social media world, if that's what you're here listening to me uh, for, we can't afford to be complacent on social media. Ain't that the truth, guys? <laughs> it moves way, way too fast for anybody to become complacent on social media. If you have a dream, a goal, results that you want to achieve via building a business online, the last thing you ever want to do is be complacent because uh, you'll get left behind. Majorly, majorly, majorly left behind. So you, we, we don't want that for you either. So we can't be complacent on social media by any means. Okay, the next one, not seeking or take advantage of new opportunities. When we sort of sit back and we're a bit satisfied and complacent with where we're at and what we're doing and we don't have the drive to sort of make life what we want it to be, you will miss massive opportunities that are put right in front of you that you can't even see. So when you're driven and you've moved through life purposefully and with intention, like I've mentioned numerous times, John Maxwell's book, live your life with intention. When you live your life with intention, you see opportunities, you'll know when to grab them when they come forward. But if you're satisfied and complacent, the best thing since sliced bread could be put straight in front of you and you're not even gonna see it and it's gone, okay? So we really don't wanna be complacent with anything in our life. Do you not agree that we can always be a better version of ourselves? Like there's always things, I'm sure, in various areas of your life, whether it's business, your side business, your traditional employment, your finances, your health, your skin, your energy, whatever it is, we can always strive to be a better version of ourselves in any of those areas. Do you agree with that, guys? This is the reason that we don't ever want to become fully satisfied or complacent with where we're at because it means we lose the drive to be a better version tomorrow than we are today. Okay, does that make sense? I still can't see comments. So <laughs> if you can just give me the love, share the, share the, hang on, Helen, get, get the, how come I don't do, is that, how come I can't do a love heart properly like that? That is a terrible love heart, Helen. How come I'm not doing that properly? Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, the Yeah, another one. Got two more. So not maintaining or building your network of contacts. 
And particularly in social media, we can't afford to be lazy or complacent in that area because social media moves too fast and people are moving on to somebody else. They're making contacts with new people that are more like-minded. So please don't ever get complacent with social media by any any means because you will get left behind. And people are building relationships with new people that are more energetic and vibrant and doing their thing and turning up regularly and being consistent and doing live video and all of those kind of things. People are moving on with the wave while you're sitting back in complacency. So we just, we really don't want to stay there because it's damaging. And the last one, not sharing your opinions or ideas. Every one of you has got something special. Some of you just don't know what that is yet. Every one of you has got something that you can give to other people and give value to other people about and inspire other people in some way. As I said, some of you just don't know what that is yet. So if you become a bit you know, lazy and satisfied and complacent, then you're not voicing your opinion. No, you're not expir- inspiring people. You're not sharing your ideas and creativity and voice in certain things to inspire that person that you never knew who was listening on your Facebook Live. Are you with me, guys? So when we come complacent and we're like, oh, not today, I don't feel like it, it can wait till tomorrow. You've missed the opportunity. Let me take Facebook Live for an example. You've missed the opportunity to inspire potentially that one person that was going to listen to you that day and went, the penny just dropped. The light bulb just went off. That is amazing. That resonated with me so much. Thank you. Have you ever had that, guys? Maybe some of you haven't. But there is always people watching on social media, particularly Facebook Lives. I got a message this morning on my page from someone saying, um, you know, and I wasn't familiar with their name. They said, I'm, and they admitted it, like I'm a silent watcher. But I just wanted to let you know, I can't remember the exact words, you know, how grateful I am or something or how inspiring you am. I just know that I'm here in the background type thing. Like there is always somebody watching. So when we get complacent and a little bit lazy and I think it doesn't matter, I'll do it tomorrow, you're missing spreading the word, spreading your message because you never know who you can impact. Seriously, you've got no idea when it comes to social media who's listening, who's watching, who you're inspiring, even when you don't think you are. I bet your voice, the value that you bring, something you say is inspiring somebody else and you don't even know it. So when we become sort of, you know, really satisfied where we're at and we, you know, that complacency, we don't have the drive to inspire people or you're losing the opportunity to share your voice and inspire others. Does that make sense to you guys? So they're the real downfalls. We don't want any of you to miss opportunities. We don't want you to lose networks and contacts. We don't want you to not strive to be your best because people follow people that are at their best. People follow people that show up. People follow people that are consistent. People follow people that give good value on social media. Like I'm obviously concentrating on the social media thing here and building a business online. But when you're complacent, life will rule you guys. It will rule you. There are things that will always come in front of you that will rule your life, whether it be your Facebook news feed, Instagram, emails, television, traffic, whatever. Life will rule you instead of you ruling life. We never want you to be complacent, ever. No matter what level you're at, striving for massive things or just striving for a few extra dollars in the bank, it doesn't matter what you're striving for, but whatever level you're at, don't be complacent. Push yourself. Push yourself knowing that, you know, I've said this over and over again for those of you that listen to me regularly, your brain is wired to keep you safe. So for you to actually get where you want to go, you have to push yourself. Because your brain is always going to talk you out of it. It's just the way it is. It's the way our body is made up. So we don't ever want to become complacent because when we're complacent, you're not going to push yourself. If you're not going to push yourself, you're not going to get to where you want to go. And that's what we want for you. We want you to get where you want to go. So there's always going to be the element of you can't be complacent with where you're at. Even if you're doing well, you can always do better. 
Even if you've achieved awesome things, you can inspire more people. Do you get me? So Bob Proctor's final words on this will, complacency will derail your career, was his words, uh, is setting yourself up to be blindsided. If you're complacent, the world is moving around you and you're not purposely moving through life, you're letting life dictate what happens to you. So if you don't wanna be blindsided by life, then don't ever become complacent with where you're at in anything, health, business, finances, you know, all that kind of stuff. You've always got to be on the game. You've always got to be on the ball and you've always got to be pushing. Well, you, I would recommend, I don't, I don't want to tell you what to do or what you have to do. It's your life. You do what you want to do or not do. But I would highly recommend that you don't ever get to that point of complacency. And when you are, it's like, okay, how can I stretch myself a little bit further? and just become even better than what you already are, okay? Um, and it is, you know, the, the thing to realize is it's a competitive marketplace out there in any business. Um, so let's just talk about business for a second. It's, it's competitive out there. Social media, it's very competitive out there. So you can't afford to be complacent in any capacity in this world. Okay, so let me just pick up on a few comments and then I'll pick up on the rest of your comments um, after the live. So Lynn, yes, I'm striving every day to be a better version of myself than I was the day before. That's all we could ever want for any of you. No one's perfect. We've all got our flaws. We've all got our issues. We've all got our insecurities. We've all got our little voice that tells us a whole lot of crap about ourselves that's not true. All you need to do is strive to be a better version than you are today so you progress. You just want to pro progress. You don't need to climb the mountain tomorrow. Noah wasn't built in a day. Noah's ark wasn't built in a day. We didn't build Rome in a day. You know, all that kind of stuff. Progress, incremental progress is what's going to help you become successful. Shirley, I agree. I really need to pick up the pace. I am so overwhelmed. Okay, just a little thing on overwhelm. Overwhelm is means you've, you're taking too much information in and you need some action. So overwhelm is I've got too much coming in into my brain at once. I don't really know where to start, so therefore I'm doing nothing. So we need you really need to break it down. What are the things I need to do just today and then tomorrow? And bite-sized chunks of little things that you can do that are actionable steps and actually do them. So this is like the online world. People get stuck in overwhelm all the time because they learn, 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 learn. I'm no different, guys. I want to learn everything. I research heaps of stuff. And it's like, oh, what's happening over there? Oh, there's a new article. Oh, there's a new blog. Oh, what's this guru got to say? Oh, I want to watch that Facebook Live and that Facebook Live. And oh, I'll jump on that webinar. Like I still go through this, guys. But I've got my list of actionable items that I have to do every day. And they've got to get done first. If they don't get done first, they don't get done. Uh, so, um, you know, we need to be organized. Uh, okay, Sean, I'm taking each day to strive to be a better version of me. Love it, love it. Makes so much sense, says Lee. Christina says, uh, true. Oh, Christina, did you see your badge? A follower anniversary. I'm going to talk about all these badges um, tomorrow. Uh, Olive, yes, it's amazing feeling when someone tells you that they were inspired by what we said. I know, isn't it? And, you know, Olive, often we don't know that they're even watching. Hey, Rose, I've received messages like that. Isn't that awesome, guys? And this is why I always strive, want you to strive for not what you can get from people on social media. We don't want you to wake up in the morning and go, what post or what Facebook Live can I put out to try to get some more sales or build my business? We want you to wake up in the morning and go, who can I inspire today? What message can I give on social media today that's going to inspire somebody? When you do that, then the, the rewards will come. The sales will come. The relationships will come. The rapport will come. But wake up in the morning and go, who can I inspire, inspire today? Not, um, how can I make a sale today? Okay. Jen, I agree so much. You just don't know um, who you may be helping with without even knowing it. Yep, Edith says, yes, makes sense. Um, hey, Patricia. Hi, Helen. I will strive to share my views to inspire others. Love it, Patricia. Katie, I feel so fortunate to have found you at this moment in my life. Thank you, Helen. Thank you, Katie. What a beautiful comment. 
it's been awesome to see you um you know progress through the video challenge as well oh oh those of you that are in the video challenge we're almost done can you believe it the ones in australia are actually going to finish tomorrow and those of you are other parts of the world you're not going to be that far behind so the video the 21 day video challenge um, is almost over which is always very sad but enlightening and amazing and I hope you guys that have participated in it have really enjoyed the experience this is just the beginning for you guys just the beginning so I'm excited for you guys moving forward Lee thank you for giving me a kit a kick up the butt <laughs> anytime Lee I'll give you a kick up the butt Judy and Bob hello Eyes testing, just sneaking in to say hello to you, Helen and the crew. So <laughs> thank you, Judy and Bob. Nice to see you sneak in there. Um, hi, Vilma. Okay, so I'll catch up. Um, uh, Andrea says you're so right. So I'll catch up the rest of your comments in the moment. I don't want to keep you here for, for too long. Um, so, yeah, I hope you got something out of that, guys. Just stay away from being satisfied and complacent. It's okay to be comfortable with some certain things in your life, but just remember those dangers that I mentioned before. You kind of stop growing when you're completely complacent, and we don't want to do that because you'll end up moving backwards, okay? So I hope you got something valuable out of this. Um, for those of you that are joining me live tomorrow, again, I am hosting a webinar um, at the same time round about when I go live. So I'm going live two hours earlier tomorrow. So for those of you that catch me regularly, just take a note at the point of this time of this video, those of you catching the replay will be none the wiser, but I am going live two hours earlier tomorrow. So I really look forward to seeing as many of you as I can then. Those of you doing the video challenge, good luck in your final couple of days. I'm so proud of um, you know, all of you that have stuck to the 21 days and conquering, um, you know, great confidence levels and dual lives and all sorts of technical skills and stuff like that. It's just been awesome. It always is with the, with the video challenges. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome rest of the day, whatever part of the day it is for you. Thank you for being here with me.